Purana, Wikipedia article audio. Cato Prion, Pristobrican, Pigacentris, Pigapristus, Saras Almas, A Euro Mega Purana. Taxonomy and Evolution A Purana or Pira plus or minus A, Spanish, is a member of family Caracidae in order Caraciformes, freshwater fish that inhabits South American rivers, flood plains, lakes, and reservoirs. Although often described as extremely predatory and mainly feeding on fish, their dietary habits vary extensively and they will also take plant material, leading to their classification as omnivorous. In Venezuela, they are called caribes. They are known for their sharp teeth and powerful jaws. Piranhas belong to the subfamily Serrasalmini, which includes closely related omnivorous fish such as Pacus. Traditionally, only the four genera Pristobrican, Pigacentris, Pigapristus, and Sarasalmus are considered to be true piranhas, due to their specialized teeth. However, a recent analysis showed, if the piranha group is to be monophyletic, it should be restricted to Sarasalmus, Pigacentris, and part of Pristobrican or expanded to include these taxa plus Pygopristus, Catoprion, and Pristobrican striolatus. Pygopristus was found to be more closely related to Catoprion than the other three piranha genera. Distribution The total number of piranha species is unknown and contested, and new species continue to be described. Estimates range from fewer than 30 to more than 60. Description Piranhas are indigenous to the Amazon basin, in the Orinoco, in rivers of the Guyanas, in the Paraguay A Euro Piranha, and the S.A. Pondo Francisco River systems, but there are major differences in the species' richness. In a review where 38A Euro 39 piranha species were recognized, 25 were from the Amazon and 16 from Orinoco, while only 3 were present in Paraguay A Euro piranha and 2 in S.A. Pondo Francisco. Most species are restricted to a single river system, but some occur in several. Many species can occur together, for example, Seven are found in CAA plus or minus Omaporal, a stream in Venezuela. Size Aquarium piranhas have been unsuccessfully introduced into parts of the United States. In many cases, however, reported captures of piranhas are misidentifications of PACU. Piranhas have also been discovered in the Kaptai Lake in southeast Bangladesh. Research is being carried out to establish how piranhas have moved to such distant corners of the world from their original habitat. Some rogue exotic fish traders are thought to have released them in the lake to avoid being caught by anti-poaching forces. Piranhas were also spotted in the Lijiang River in China. Morphology Piranhas are normally about 14 to 26 centimeters long, although some specimens have been reported to be up to 43 centimeters in length. Most piranhas don't get any bigger than 2 feet long. For example, the red-bellied piranha and the Piraea piranha grow to about 20 inches long, while the black spot piranha grows to about 11 inches, according to Fish Base. Piranhas weigh about 7.7 .7 pounds at the most being 8.6 pounds with the red belly piranha. Biting Abilities Ceres almus, Pristobrican, Pigacentris, and Pigapristus are most easily recognized by their unique dentition. All piranhas have a single row of sharp teeth in both jaws. The teeth are tightly packed and interlocking and are used for rapid puncture and shearing. Individual teeth are typically broadly triangular, pointed, and blade-like. 
the variation in the number of cusps is minor, in most species, the teeth are tricuspid with a larger middle cusp which makes the individual teeth appear markedly triangular. The exception is Pygopristus, which has pentacuspid teeth and a middle cusp usually only slightly larger than the other cusps. Piranhas have one of the strongest bites found in bony fishes. Relative to body mass, the black piranha produces one of the most forceful bites measured in vertebrates. This extremely powerful and dangerous bite is generated by large jaw muscles that are attached closely to the tip of the jaw, conferring the piranha with a mechanical advantage that favors force production over bite speed. Strong jaws combined with finely serrated teeth make them adept at tearing flesh. Ecology Relationship with humans Attacks Reputation Piranhas vary extensively in ecology and behavior depending on exact species. Piranhas, especially the red-bellied, have a reputation as ferocious predators that hunt their prey in schools. Recent research, however, which started off with the premise that they school as a means of cooperative hunting, discovered they are timid fish that schooled for protection from their own predators, such as cormorants, caimans, and dolphins. Piranhas are basically like regular fish with large teeth. A few other species may also occur in large groups, while the remaining are solitary or found in small groups. Although generally described as highly predatory and they primarily feed on fish, piranha diets vary extensively, leading to their classification as omnivorous. In addition to fish, documented food items for piranhas include other vertebrates, invertebrates, fruits, seeds, leaves and detritus. The diet often shifts with age and size. Research on the species Ceres almus f. Brandii and Pigacentris natureri in Viana Lake in Maranhu Pondo, which is formed during the wet season when the Pandera Copyright River floods, has shown that they primarily feed on fish, but also eat vegetable matter. In another study of more than 250 Ceres almus rumbus at G. Pirana River, 75% to 81% of the stomach content was fish, but about 10% was fruits or seeds. In a few species such as Ceres almus serolatus, the dietary split may be more equal, but this is less certain as based on smaller samples, among 24 South serolatus from flooded forest of G. Pirana River, there were several with fish remains in their stomachs but half contained masticated seeds and in most of these this was the dominant item. Piranhas will often scavenge, and some species such as Ceres almus elongatus are specialized scale eaters, feeding primarily on scales and fins of other fish. Scale and fin eating is more widespread among juvenile and subadult piranhas. Piranhas lay their eggs in pits dug during the breeding and swim around to protect them. Newly hatched young feed on zooplankton, and eventually move on to small fish once large enough. Piranha teeth are often used as tools themselves or to modify other tools. This has been documented among several South American tribes, including the Camayura and Chavant in Brazil and the Pacawara in Bolivia. Piranhas are also popular as food. They are often considered a nuisance by fishers since they steal bait, eat catches, damage fishing gear and may bite when accidentally caught. Piranhas can be bought as pets in some areas, but they are illegal in the Philippines, where importers face six months to four years in jail, and in many parts of the United States. The most common aquarium piranha is Pigacentris natureri, the red-bellied piranha. Piranhas can be bought fully grown or as young, often no larger than a thumbnail. 
It is important to keep Pigacentris piranhas alone or in groups of four or more, not in pairs, since aggression among them is common, not allowing the weaker fish to survive, and is distributed more widely when kept in larger groups. It is not uncommon to find individual piranhas with one eye missing due to a previous attack. Although often described as extremely dangerous in the media, piranhas typically do not represent a serious risk to humans. However, attacks have occurred, especially when the piranhas are in a stressed situation, such as the dense groups that may occur when the water is lower during the dry season and food is relatively scarce. Swimming near fishermen may increase the risk of attacks due to the commotion caused by struggling fish and the presence of bait in the water. Splashing attracts piranhas and for this reason children are more often attacked than adults. Being in the water when already injured or otherwise incapacitated also increases the risk. There are sometimes warning signs at high-risk locations, and beaches in such areas are sometimes protected by a barrier. Most piranha attacks on humans only result in minor injuries, typically to the feet or hands, but they are occasionally more serious and very rarely can be fatal. Near the city of Palmas in Brazil, 190 piranha attacks, all involving single bites to the feet, were reported in the first half of 2007 in an artificial lake which appeared after the damming of the Tocantins River. In the state of S.A. Pondo Paulo, a series of attacks in 2009 in the Tita River resulted in 15 people with minor injuries. In 2011, another series of attacks at Josa Copyright de Freitas in the Brazilian state of Piau resulted in 100 people being treated for bites to their toes or heels. On December 25, 2013, more than 70 bathers were attacked at Rosario in Argentina, causing injuries to their hands or feet. In 2011, a drunk 18-year-old man was attacked and killed in Rosario del Yata, Bolivia. In 2012, a 5-year-old Brazilian girl was attacked and killed by a shoal of P. Natareri. In February 2015, a 6-year-old girl died after being attacked by piranhas when her grandmother's boat capsized during a holiday in Brazil. Various stories exist about piranhas, such as how they can delacerate a human body or cattle in seconds. These legends refer specifically to the red-bellied piranha. A common falsehood is that they can be attracted by blood and are exclusively carnivores. A Brazilian legend called Piranha Cattle states that they sweep the rivers at high speed and attack the first of the cattle entering the water allowing the rest of the group to traverse the river. These legends were dismissed through research by Ha Copyrightlder Quiras and Ann Maguren and published in Biology Letters. When American President Theodore Roosevelt visited Brazil in 1913, he went on a hunting expedition through the Amazon rainforest. While standing on the bank of the Amazon River, he witnessed a spectacle created by local fishermen. After blocking off part of the river and starving the piranhas for several days, they pushed a cow into the water, where it was quickly torn apart and skeletonized by a school of hungry piranhas. Roosevelt later described piranhas as vicious creatures in his 1914 book Through the Brazilian Wilderness. Theodore Roosevelt <laughs>